At 35 right now, Keolis is changing the way they train commuter rail engineers and conductors. And our own Brianna Pitts was put to the test. She's here now with details in this week's pit stop, Brianna. Chris and Kate, up until now, students would learn in the classroom and ride along with conductors and engineers on actual commuter rail trains. The only problem with that is they very rarely would run into an emergency situation. But now with the new technology, Keolis is preparing the next class of conductors for anything. We're getting ready to leave North Station here in Boston. Uh, we have the Zakin Bridge over to our right. We have the draw bridges here over the Charles River. Take one step inside Keolis' latest training tool, the locomotive simulator, and you'd think you were in a real train. The seat I'm actually in right now is rocking back and forth, giving me feedback. Switches up top, the switches here, our systems in the back, everything exactly the same place it is in real life. The two year, $1.2 million project included mapping out all the lines in Boston with CGI engineers creating a virtual reality along every track. Pretty much almost anything that could happen to them in real life, we can simulate in here now. Simulator training manager Brandon Quaranto says he'll make engineers troubleshoot signal issues, derailments, slippery rails, and nor'easters. We could simulate ice building up on the brakes, so the engineer would have to do some things to melt the brakes as they get ready for a station stop. They can even place a car on the tracks, practicing for potential strikes and making emergency stops. We can't create these scenarios in real life with revenue trains and passengers on them. So by us being able to do it in here, it's going to be make a better prepared engineer. I feel like I see green flashing. Yep, I really should break. And while I tried out the simulator for about 10 minutes, the next class of engineers will need to log over 75 hours during their nine-month training. It gives me a little bit more peace of mind knowing, and I, I and I know what my eventually our goal is, is when that engineer six months from now encounters that in real life, they'll be on their mind like, oh my goodness, I did that in the simulator. I remember what I need to do. A new class of 12 engineers are expected to start training in that simulator this September. All of the engineers will have to recertify on this simulator every three years. And everyone will also be training for PTC, positive train control. That's being installed system-wide along our tracks. PTC takes over when it senses that a train is speeding or running red lights, and it can prevent tragic derailments. I know that I was telling you guys when I did this story, the detail in this simulator is crazy. You know, like the screeching noise that you hear when a train pulls into the station right, here yeah. that is in the simulator every tree along the line when you're driving that's where it actually is in real life it's just crazy how many times did you crash the train <laughs> zero oh good zero <laughs> i had a really good we only went like 10 miles an hour the whole time so we just normally they go up to 70 so we just kind of took it easy all right listen i've been in the car with you before i'm glad that you're not a <laughs> conductor just saying all right <laughs> thank you brianna <laughs> yeah you know chris it's okay. <laughs> They're like, she can't go ahead oh, over 10 miles an hour. Let's no. just keep her at 10 miles an hour. In the car, too. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> Straight ahead.